Hi everyone, and welcome to Gwen Collects. Alright, so it's been a while actually since I made a sit-down video talking to you guys. A lot has happened since my last video, some pretty exciting life developments. Uh, I'll share a little bit about myself. So if you are new to my channel or you haven't been watching for a while, I am an engineering student or I was an engineering student. <laughs> Uh, when you're watching this video will be probably when I'm writing my very last final exam for my degree and then Granted that I pass everything <laughs> fingers crossed. I will officially have my Bachelor of Science in Engineering. So that's pretty exciting. I'm pretty happy to be done that that's a pretty big life accomplishment. So yeah, I uh, got my my iron ring recently, which is a tradition of sorts in Canada when you get your engineering degree, you get this iron ring that you're supposed to wear on your working hand to symbolize like ethics and commitment to being a morally and ethically competent engineer. <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty cool, kind of culty, but <laughs> it's definitely fun. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud to have this degree. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's my life update. That's why I've been kind of vacant. Uh, I recently put up my newest k video where I was not actually in the video and uh, I'm really proud of that video. So if you haven't watched it, I'll link it above if you would like to watch it. But this is the first time I've sat down to film a video in about four weeks. So <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty nice to be back and I'm excited to do my April haul. So this haul is a pretty small haul, I would say. I didn't pick up too, too much stuff in April. If you watched my February, March haul, I picked up a lot of stuff. I think I had like five figures in that video. So I was reeling a little bit this month. Um, I couldn't go too crazy and I was super busy with school. So I didn't go crazy, uh, but I do have a few things to show you because don't you worry, a month never goes by without me buying at least one anime figure, it seems. <laughs> so now that I'm done talking to you guys about my life, well, let's get into the haul. All right, so first up, we have this beautiful Miku Noodle Stopper. So I have been wanting this Miku for a long time. Um, I've seen her popping up here and there. She's often on Ami Ami Pre-Owned. I've seen her multiple times on Reddit in my figure collection, and she just always looks so adorable. And I actually don't have any Noodle Stoppers, so I thought I would start my Noodle Stopper collection with this cutie. Now, the one I got, I actually got from Crunchyroll because I saw that if you bought it from Crunchyroll, you get this really neat little base. So I think that's so cute. Um, most of the ones I've seen online, people didn't get the base. So I don't really know what gives. I, I don't know why like Crunchyroll got these like prototype bases, but regardless, the base is super cute. I'll take off our cute little Miku just to show you. So the top of the base is just like this logo. I don't know if it's supposed to like say something like is this Miku somehow I don't know <laughs> but it's pretty cute it's like hollow underneath I mean this is a prize figure so it's not like you're gonna get insanely cool quality but I think this is really cute um and it kind of mimics what like the ramen cup would be uh, and then we obviously have the star of the show the Miku noodle stopper so I'm obsessed with this, Miku. I think she is so cute and like value for money wise, I got her for 22 US dollars. Totally worth it. Like she is absolutely adorable. Uh, just a warning though, if you're Canadian <laughs> and you order from Crunchyroll, shipping is flat rate $20 US regardless of what you buy. So I bought this one noodle stopper for $22 and then shipping was 20. So <laughs> yeah, she wasn't like the best deal, but whatever. She was worth it, I think. Uh, anyway, back to Miku herself. I think the paint job is actually super nice for a prize figure. This Miku is by Furyu, so she's my first prize figure by Furyu, and I would say they did a, a killer job. Um, her hair is extremely heavy, and you have to like poke it into her head. So there's like little holes where the two pigtails go and they don't quite like stay in super nicely. Uh, when she's sitting, she's totally fine, but I wouldn't like try to dangle her pigtails off a ledge or something like that. I don't know why you would, but yeah, they're, they're not super like in there. And I think the instructions actually recommend you glue her pigtails in. So 
yeah, <laughs> the, uh, the structural integrity of this Miku is lacking. But everything else, from the paint job to the adorable pose, like, <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> uh, I really, really like. Uh, I know there's an alternative colorway of her coming out, so if you missed this one, uh, you, can, you can probably get the alternative colorway. But I really loved the original colors of this Miku. The only thing that is, like, kind of a complaint, but also, like, I'm just dumb, is that I thought she would be bigger. I, I don't know why I thought a noodle stopper would be bigger, but I just expected her to be. Like, she came in the mail and I was like, wow, this is a teeny, teeny, tiny Miku. <laughs> but <laughs> regardless, she's super cute. And, like, what more can you ask for for, like, 20 bucks? Like, she's cute. Um, oh, one other thing. I love that they painted her fingernails. I don't know. That, that just seems super cute to me. Her little teal fingernails are absolutely adorable. And uh, just for size reference, I will put her beside my giant racing Miku. <laughs> I think they look really cute together. And <laughs> the racing Miku is like the biggest Miku ever. This is like the teeny tiniest. So I think it just looks hilarious. So anyway, enough about this figure. I would highly recommend her if you're looking for an affordable Miku that looks really cute on a shelf or on her base. She's just absolutely adorable. All right, so next up we have the beautiful Mio Akiyama from k -On, but this is a special Mio. <laughs> this is the high school festival version by Alter. So if you watched my k -On video that I recently put up, you'll see her unboxing at the very end. Uh, she was kind of a, a last minute addition to that video. I wasn't planning on buying her, but she popped up on the Ami Ami pre owned section for 5,800 yen, and honestly, she was in AC condition. I had to do it. She's just too cute. I love her. So a few things that I really like about this figure is I feel like she takes everything from the original meal, but just makes it better. I think Alter really, really, really nailed this one. Uh, her guitar, gorgeous as always. Alter gave them the most detailed instruments, which I love. Um, her dress is so cute, and if you've watched the anime, you know <laughs> that Mio trips and falls uh, going on stage while she's wearing this costume and um, exposes her uh, panties to the school, much to her embarrassment. <laughs> so I must say that this figure really captures that, that embarrassment that she had. I don't know, but she just looks so cute, and ugh. Her outfit is absolutely adorable. I love her little Mary Janes, her socks. Ugh, it's just so, so cute. The other thing that I love, love, love about this figure is that her base is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it says Hokago Tea Time, which is their band, and her name, just in like a nice cursive. And it's this really, really pretty blue color with like flowers, black flowers on it. And honestly, like, I don't know why they picked a blue base for this figure. There's nothing really blue about Mio. Like, she's wearing, she has like a red bow and a black outfit. But I absolutely love how the blue contrasts with the rest of the figure. I feel like if they would have gone for like a clear base, like all of the other k figures, she may have turned out like kind of boring since her color palette is so like monotone. But this blue base just absolutely ties the whole figure together. And honestly, she is one of my absolute favorite figures in my whole collection. Just everything from her outfit, to her face, to her guitar, to her beautiful shiny shoes contrasting with her matte socks. Like, oh, Alter killed it on this figure. And if you are debating between getting this Mio or the original Alter Mio, I would 100% recommend this one. I know it's nice to have the full k -On set, uh, but I really, really, really love this Mio, and I think this is the one to buy. Also, I don't know how this was uh, 5,800 yen. Like, are you serious? This figure is insanely gorgeous, and that price tag is so good. Like, she was a steal. Oh, Yeah, anyway, I absolutely love this Mio. I have decided <laughs> in buying this Mio that I'm going to collect the entire k -On Ultra Ultra set. So all I have left to get, I believe, are the Ui figure and the Nadoka figure. So I'm on the lookout for them, and I will let you guys know when I do find them, because they are at the top of my must-find list right now, and uh, I just can't wait to have the entire k -On set to put in my 
new setup. So yeah, I love this Mio. I can't stop talking about her. I can't stop looking at her. Oh, get her if you can, because you will not regret it. And the last thing I have to show in this video are a couple of art prints. So I've been following an artist uh, going by EMW on Instagram for a while now. She makes super, super cool prints of different uh, anime characters in streetwear. And I don't know if I've talked about it much on my channel before, but I am obsessed with streetwear. Like I love looking at pictures of streetwear and I love when anime characters wear streetwear. Like the Radio Ava figures are just absolutely up my alley. Like I love streetwear. So streetwear plus anime are just, it's a golden combination, I must say. So uh, yeah, she does a lot of different characters. She's done collections like Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia. What else have I seen on there? I've seen some uh, like Zero Two prints. Jujutsu Kaisen prints. She just kills it with her streetwear. And for every month, she'll release like a new collection. And the new collection for April was Attack on Titan. So I knew I had to get in on that. I don't know if I've talked about it much on my channel, but I'm obsessed with Attack on Titan. It is the gateway drug that got me into anime and ugh. Attack on Titan is by far one of my favorite animes of all time. Like. No question. I am an anime only. No spoilers. I know it, the manga just ended. I avoid every Attack on Titan thing I, I see. But I'm I'm mad excited for the, the second half of season four. Like I cannot I cannot wait to see just how Isayama ends the story. Attack on Titan is just Oh, it's history in the making. It is one of the greatest anime of all time, in my opinion, and I'm obsessed. But enough about how much I love Attack on Titan. Let's get into these art prints. So with EMW's collections, she'll release like a like a monthly drop of like new prints, but she'll also re-release all her old prints. But with the monthly drops, she always does like limited edition prints that'll only drop once. So often they're like a dark mode version of a print and they're always sick. But this month's I couldn't pass up on. Oh my god. I, like, uh, I'm so obsessed. <laughs> I need to get this framed ASAP. But look at this print. Like, I'm... Oh my god. I'm obsessed. Obviously, I'll give some close-up shots of this beauty. But it has basically all of the Attack on Titan characters in streetwear. We got our boy Aaron. Whoop. Aaron right at the front here with uh, Mikasa and Armin, obviously. We got Levi here looking fresh as hell. We got Commander Erwin here. We got Sasha, Hanj. I see, I see Jean, John, however you say his name, in the back there. We got. Bertolt, Reiner, and Annie, Historia and Ymir, just, oh, and Kony back there. So I'm obsessed. Um, before I got into anime figure collecting, I was really into fashion. Um, I love designer clothes, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but now I gotta save all my money for anime figures. So I have not really purchased like designer things, but I still do love that she takes inspiration from designer looks and runway looks and puts them on anime characters like oh like i see Kony back here in dior like love okay anyway <laughs> i'll quit gushing about this uh also i like monkey in the back i'm sure levi does not like monkey in the back but i like monkey in the back um yeah one thing i have to say though ups i hate you UPS bent, look at this. Can you see, I don't know if you can see that. The camera probably won't focus. UPS bent this so badly in transit. Like, <laughs> like why? <laughs> why did they bend it? It's so annoying. But anyway, it'll be okay. Once I frame it, I don't think you'll be able to notice the bend, but it was definitely a little bit upsetting to see my posters come in the mail and be bent. I have two other prints that I bought when I bought that one, and I'll show you those now. All right, we have the very sexy um, 
Gojo and Nanami right here. So this is from her Jujutsu Kaisen collection. Uh, I'm obsessed with the characters from Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, yesterday the Nobara painted prototype dropped. What a queen, like I'm obsessed. So <laughs> that is going on the order list for sure. But I'm really loving Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, yeah, I thought the first season was great. I love, love, love how female characters are represented in Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, the author was just killing it with their female characters. I say that. I bought male characters, but they killed it with the male characters, too. Don't get me wrong. So, I went for this Gojo and Nanami print because I'm a simp. I love their outfits. <laughs> I love Gojo's, like, cocky grin. And uh, Nanami just looks fresh. He, he's always looking fresh in the anime, but he looks especially nice here. So Nanami scale when, because I need this man in my collection. Regardless, obsessed with this print, love it. I'll probably get more <laughs> from the Jujutsu Kaisen collection. All right, and finally we have my last print and the last item in this haul, and it is Shinra Kusakabe from Fire Force. So this is another print from EMW and I'm obsessed. This was the print that I actually saw first by her on Instagram and it was the dark mode version of this print. I'll put a picture up on the screen somewhere and I was obsessed. I really really wish I could have got that print but I was too late. Uh, this came out in December and the dark mode print was limited to December only which is devastating. I want it so bad but I did settle for this one and I absolutely love how this one looks. So I guess I didn't mention this. These two, this one and my Jujutsu Kaisen one are eight by 10 and the Attack on Titan one is 13 by 19, I believe. So 13 by 19 is the biggest print size and the eight by 10s are the medium. She also makes like little like postcard size, I think five by seven that are super cute as well. But I wanted to put these in my detail. So I went with the eight by 10s and the 13 by 19. Anyway, I love Shinra's outfit. His outfit is my favorite of any of the uh, characters that she's done. I just love the oversized jacket, the hoodie, the vibe. I love how she incorporated like the flames up his pants because like, you know, Shinra's feet light on fire. So <laughs> I just think she really incorporated Shinra into this look. And while I do love that she like put the characters in like runway fashion for the Attack on Titan ones, I think that this one just really captures the character and I'm obsessed. Also, uh, love his earrings. They look super sweet. And I love the like graffiti vibes of this one as well. So I love this, this print. Uh, I'll put some B-roll in of my like display of these prints in my details. I think they look pretty cool. Uh, the Jujutsu Kaisen one is awaiting some Jujutsu Kaisen characters to put in front of it. For now, I just have my racing Miku. I think she looks cute. Uh, it's not like ideal, but all my streetwear figures are coming in like the next year, so I just gotta wait on those before I have my my cool my cool shelves. But this one looks really really cool behind my Shinra and Tamaki figures, and soon to be Benny Maru. So I am super super happy with these prints, and I would highly recommend checking out EMW's shop. It opens on the first of every month, and she has some amazing prints. I really really want this one uh, of L from Death Note. I love Death Note, one of my favorite anime. And this one of Elle just looks fantastic. So I'll probably be putting in another order from this place uh, on the May 1st drop. We'll see. All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. I know this was kind of a short video, but nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed it. I think I will have a few more figures coming next month and a ton ton of figures coming between June 2021 and November 2021. Please watch my videos. <laughs> I need the ad revenue, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be broke without it. Regardless, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.
Paxton. She's so, so cute. I've seen her multiple times on like Reddit and stuff. So 